So okay. <laughs> welcome everybody to the VL Keeps live interview with the one and only Jeff Howell. Jeff, thank you so much. I know how extremely busy you are. As a matter of fact, just rushing in between sessions. Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure, my pleasure. And today we're going to talk a little bit about a being how to be a VO triple threat with you and talk about triple threat, <laughs> owner of Howell Productions, you're a coach, you're a producer and a director. So you yourself, sir, are a VO triple threat. So tell our viewers a little bit about yourself and how you got into the, the voiceover industry. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, many, many, many years ago, I got a job at a very well-known, well-established talent agency that had a very active uh, voiceover division. And the name of the agency was Abrams, Rubeloff and Lawrence. It was a wonderful agency. They no longer exist. Uh, Richard closed down and then reopened under a different name and he handles more theatrical clients from what I hear. But anyway, at that time, it was a very big, vibrant commercial uh, company organization and they had a lot of great talent. And the voiceover department was huge. And I was brought in as an assistant, as an assistant, and I worked in that department for about a year, about a year uh, and a half, and then I was made a full agent. And then a couple of years after that, I became director of the department and ran that division for quite a while. And I loved it. I loved working with the talent and negotiating contracts, finding deals, and it was just a really amazing experience for me from not really having known voiceovers that well until mm -hmm. and, and then growing in that industry and learning how to work with talent was was probably the biggest thing I took from it actually. And then after that, I left, went to casting because I wanted to go on the creative side. So I left that and went to a production company uh, called Burt Burtis and Company. And we had a very active uh, commercial sort of uh, casting division. And I cast everything that went in and out of that place. And it was a lot of fun. It was about seven years of intense production. Um, and we were a very well-known at that time uh, comedy production company. And so we produced a tremendous amount of comedy radio. And then during that time, I started directing as well. And then I left that company and went to Worldwide Radio. And yes, it was Worldwide Radio. <laughs> and I was there for quite a while. And I was VP of production and basically produced, I'd say, 90% of the material uh, that was produced out of that shop. And we did a lot of comedy radio, a lot of regular radio, a lot of TV. And then uh, we had a very active promo division. And so I started working on a lot of the promos there. And so we worked with major networks, uh, CBS, who is still my client, and uh, just a tremendous number of TBS, uh, other clients, TBS, Comedy Central, Food Network, uh, you name it, we probably worked on it. And so those were great days of having a lot of networks coming to us to produce promos for them. And, and then working on imaging as well, and then narration. And then uh, a couple of years ago, uh, Paul, the owner of Wadio, decided to uh, kind of bring the production uh, down, the company down a little bit in terms of size. And so we all went freelance. And so mm -hmm. I ended up becoming a freelancer. And that's my current situation. And so I work on pretty much anything voiceover that comes across my desk, I will work on. And I love it. I love the variety of material. And this year has been a banner year. I uh, started out the year working on a major IVR project for a computer company. And I can't, <laughs> I signed about three non-disclosure, so I can't really tell you, but it was a major job. And then I also worked on an animated show uh, for the Boston Red Sox, which was great. And uh, then, of course, worked on a lot of promos for CBS mm -hmm. and worked on some radio spots for Disney. And then I just finished doing some casting for an IMAX film and doing some directing, some narration. So I've just been having a blast this year, really uh, experimenting and, and working in all kinds of voiceover areas. So that's my background. I think I haven't missed anything, but wow. you know, I've been coaching for quite a long time as well. <laughs> that's and what a great background. And that's why I am so excited to be able to kick off 2018 with you, actually, and the VO peeps in having we're going to be having a, a actually an extended class with you called v, Be a VO Triple Threat. And you are going to cover promo affiliate and in-show narration. So it's not just one topic, it's three. <laughs> and yes. we're actually gonna have a six hour class. So maybe you could talk a little bit about that market as you see it today and how you see it maybe expanding into 2018. Cause I know that media has changed these past years along with, you know, uh, the technology, so. Exactly, yeah, it's, it's kind of the wild, wild west right now. And, you know, every time I have a client in the studio, 
and we have a break, I like to sort of get at their opinion in terms of where they see what's the state of the union now and then where are we going? And, you know, I think that everyone has their opinion about it and they can look at the uh, the marketing and, and look at the demographics and the ratings and all that. And you can sort of make some uh, statements regarding the state of what things are, how it is right now. But in terms of what's happening in the future, it's anyone's guess at this mm -hmm. point because of social media and the influence of online and our little devices that we're holding, uh, you know, who's watching TV, who's watching these devices, which ages are watching which device. I mean, it's really kind of a crazy time. But in terms of uh, directly answering your question, Anne, about, uh, you know, in terms of what promo and show narration and 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 just the general state of things, I think that there's still a need, definite need for promos. And and I think that that side of the business is still very healthy because I think that no matter what productions are, are being produced and wherever they're being shown or aired, they're needing to promote them. Mm -hmm. And so it's trying to reach that audience, entice that audience, encourage them to tune in and watch the shows or watch the programming and 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 so there's a lot of material being produced so there's a, a definite market for voiceover, voiceover talent to be involved in promo and promo production for sure mm -hmm. and in show narration as well i mean there's so many shows now that are being produced that have narration and and i do think that you know that's going to continue i can't imagine that's not going to continue so there's still a market for that too so mm -hmm. Um, that, you know, I, did I answer your question? Yeah, actually, <laughs> I'm on that tangent a bit, but. You know, you know, being a tech girl that I am, I actually love this kind of wild, wild west situation because I think mm -hmm. it really allows us as voiceover talent and as businesses to, you know, have an opportunity to kind of get ahead of the mm -hmm. curve or at least train yourself so that you can be prepared for what's coming up. And I, I personally think that, you know, what better way to prepare yourself for the new media and, and and how it's going than to work with someone that's actually like in the trenches of the industry such as yourself so i find that super exciting and i want you guys to know that on january 20th it is a saturday from 10 a.m to 4 p.m we will be uh, working with jeff and you can absolutely join the class locally here if you happen to be in southern california or uh, remotely via zoom i think it's a phenomenal opportunity i've actually been wanting to to have you as a guest director for a couple of years now. So I'm so glad that you're able to spare a Saturday morning with us. And you guys, I think that uh, Diana is going to actually post the link to the uh, to register if you guys would like to register for that. And Jeff, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time because I know that you are in the middle of, of directing and there's a ton of people waiting for you. But I do want to say thank you so much for spending the last, probably the last Facebook Live that I'm going to do with uh, a guest director uh, for 2017. And I get to kick it off with you at 2018 as well. So thanks again. Yeah. It's an honor. Thank you. I can't wait. And, and yeah. uh, you know, I think there's just, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. And there's a lot of information that I can hopefully share with all of you that uh, I think will help you in your journey in terms of trying to get voiceover work and, and, and in terms of promo and narration and anything else you want to ask uh, regarding voiceover. I mean, it's, it is an ever changing world, but I do think that there are a number of skills that, uh, that can help you in terms of preparing you for getting work and being able to maintain and hold on to those clients and really uh, create a, a nice situation for your career, you know? Yeah. Great. Well, thanks again. Have a uh, wonderful holidays and we thanks. will see you next year. Woohoo! I'm excited. <laughs> I'm right. excited. Thanks so much, peeps, for joining us. And if you have any questions, you can contact me at Ann at VOPeeps.com and we'll see you next year with Jeff. Thanks so much. Thank you.